So if you have a watch, I always turn mine to high intensity interval training for this, um, just to make sure I get accurate calories burned. No equipment is necessary, so I guess we'll get started. If you guys have music, turn on your music, get yourself motivated, get yourself pumped. Um, I'll probably just sing to myself. Just kidding, I won't sing to myself. Just kidding. All right, go ahead, take a long step forward. Let's warm up these legs. Whew. Hopefully we have a really nice weekend. We're feeling rejuvenated and ready to work. So when you lunge, make sure you're going long enough so that back knee can get all the way down to the floor, right? And if that's hard for you, that's okay. Baby steps. We focus on the process. Everything is all about goals, right? We want to keep our chest lifted, our hips square to the front. Don't worry about the pace. This is all just about you settling in on this wonderful Monday morning. And that's our slow twitch muscle fibers getting warm. We want to make sure we get our fast twitch muscle fibers warm as well. So we're going to stop this and we're just going to jog it out. Nice and easy jog. Kicking those heels up. Using your arms if you can. Get warm. And when we jog, we want to make sure our core is solid. Our chest is lifted. Got to have a lot of pride for waking up and getting it done. Sometimes my family tells me I talk too much, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Just got a lot to say. Okay, so before we did a forward stepping lunge, we are now going to reverse it into a backward stepping lunge. So this time we're going to step back, right? So if you look from the side, I step back. And I want to start to keep the upper body warm, so I'm just going to add a little press as I step back. So if you can see, I do a little pause at the bottom, squeeze my shoulder blades to the top, and then use my lats to pull down. And don't forget about your lower body. Make sure you're getting that depth. All right, team, what time is it? It's squat burpee time. Squat, burpee, and jump or don't, right? When you squat, make sure your legs are wider than your hips so you can get low, kick out to a full plank, jump wide again so you can pop up high. If you look from the side, giant sets, two rounds of two sets. <clears throat> Our first one is just going to be speed ladder run, and then we're going to hit an alligator push-up. So let me just demo those two moves. Ladder run, out, out, and in, easy breezy. The alligator push-up, one arm is out, one arm is back. Coolio, 30 seconds each of that, and then I'll show you move number three. Start with that ladder run, out, out, and in. This is our speed. We want our feet to move quickly on the balls of the foot. As we get 
Engage, chest is up. Imagine you're clearing that ladder. 15 more seconds. This is elevating our heart rate. That's a good thing. Okay, in three, we've got the alligator push-ups. Hit it. So I'm gonna start on my knees. One elbow is back, one is out. We just focused on a whole lot of speed, but here we're just focused on the depth of the push-up. Trying to get our chest all the way down to the floor, right? That's gonna turn on your core. Now if you're super pro and you wanna jump to switch, you can jump to switch, that's totally your fault. All right team, we gotta stand up now and squat jump. So come on up, hit one squat, one jump, squat and jump. When you squat, push the butt back and down and then use your arms to get off the floor. So one fluid movement. It's like you're trying to block that shot and the lower you go, the higher you get. Three more seconds. We're gonna mountain climb. All right, come on down to the floor. Body weight forward, knees right above the floor, back is straight, eye gaze is up. If you need to slow it down, slow it down, guys. Can we go tell the bell. Two minutes is a long set, so we want the heart rate to come down so we can tackle our next set even harder. Next set, jumping lunges, walking push-ups, shuffle taps, frog jumps. So when you're jumping lunge, just like the warm-up, get that back leg down. If you need to slow it down, slow it down. On your walking push-up, we'll hit that, okay? Starting here, keeping the chest lifted. A lot of times people have the tendency to bend over and they're here. It's gonna hurt your back. So really work on keeping the chest lifted. And if you need to step, step instead of jumping. Cool? All right, 10 more seconds. Okay team, we've got a walking push up. Again, I'm gonna start on my knees and I'm just gonna walk side to side. Why? Because if I keep my bum down, my core has to react, tighten up, and then I get more core workout. Again, we're focused on the depth here. Drop it low, shoulders away from ears, and your eye gaze is always up. All right, you guys, shuffle tap. Come on up, stay low, shuffle to the right, tap down, shuffle to the left, tap down. Now if you got a mirror, chest should be up, butt should be down, right, from the side. Chest should be up, butt should be down. And if you have any pressure in your knees, push that butt back and down. If you need option, stay low, step and tap. Last move, guys, is a frog jump. Come down to the floor again, full point, jump the knees in and out, in and out. Now here we try to stay low. If you need it, in and out. Take options anytime.
10 more seconds. Turn it up just a little bit, a little bit quicker. Just a teeny bit. Alligator push up to hit the deck. So I was on my knees first time. Now I'm going to try it on my toes, right? One elbow back, one elbow out. Try to keep the bum low. A lot of times people will come up and switch, but part of the work is staying low. Five more seconds, team, hang tight. All right, you guys, you've got your squat jumps. Come on up, squat, and jump. If you can't jump today, just squat. All good, all good. Remember the last move? It's a mountain climber. Hit the deck. Let's roll. Tell the bell, team. Tell the bell. Team, walking push up. Remember, try to keep the bum square to the floor as you walk from side to side. Don't worry about the speed here. This is about range of motion. Just 10 more seconds. Jump, one jack, skate, 
turn, long jump, two jacks, two skates. On your skater, go for length, bend that knee and keep that chest up. Look like an athlete, right? You're in the Olympics today. Now we go three. And that's each leg. Now remember, if you get through, one and one. It's a lot easier, second round, because your body muscle memory kicks in, right? And it's like, oh wait, I know what to do. Team, you should be nearing your top, top number. Now remember, you can choose to do it twice if you want to, or stick with that one and one. You got 40 seconds to go, you should be headed down. Yeah? today so that made it fun but usually it's not fun <laughs> hang tight we got Tabata we got four moves 20 seconds each move followed by a 10 second short rest so 
massive amounts of energy for 20 seconds, knowing that it's not long. Check out the move. Push up, flip it around, butt tap. Ready? Go. Push up, other side, flip it around, butt tap. Why, why are we doing this, Rachel? Why? Core. You're taking away points of contact to flip over and then come back and your core reacts. That's it team. See, not even bad. Next, 20. One jack, one tuck. 20 seconds. One jack, one tuck. Now if you need option, jack, squat, jack, squat. Do whatever works best for you. Oh, I'm so glad it's only 20 seconds of that. We're gonna hit the floor for plank jacks. Again, body weight forward, butt down, jack. If you need option, tap, stay low and tap. Last 20, squat burpee. Squat burpee, just like the warm up. You got this. Go. If you don't want to jump, don't jump. Power. One jack, one tuck. On your tuck, you're trying to bring your knees up as high as you can, right? Your high might be different than your neighbor's high, and that's okay. Your abs are like a catapult. Shoot out, shoot in. Like a yo-yo or a slinky or something. The second they're up, they're in. Out in. All right, guys. One more working track. Grab your water. Grab your drink. We got a beat test. We're going to stop when it says level five. So we're going to get through four levels. Here's your move. Holding pattern is a shuffle, a wide leg shuffle. When you hear the beep, jump in, butt kick, jump out, right back to your shuttle. So it looks like this from the side, jump in, butt kick out, and right back to your shuttle. Every time you hear that beep, you wanna react with that butt kick. If the butt kick is not for you, that's okay. You're here, jump in, jump out, shuttle. Cool, does it make sense? We stop when it says level five. That means we get through four levels. Hopefully you can hear it. Level one. Okay, here. Shuttle, shuttle. Literally 
try to kick your own butt. We go for power and height. Speed, power, height. Without a rep. Mm. Or if you need to give your shuttle a break, give it a break. Getting slower. My gosh. Mm. 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 Four. Last level. We're done after this. Mm. Make it your best. <laughs> 